It's umsum time. Huh? Why does a ship float on water? A ship floats on water due to a principle known as buoyancy. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by a fluid, in this case, water, that opposes the weight of an immersed object, in this case, the ship. Mm. Ships are designed to displace a volume of water equal to their weight. When the weight of the water displaced is equal to or greater than the weight of the ship, the ship floats. This principle <laughs> allows even very large and heavy ships to stay afloat. Mm. Why do we snore? Snoring occurs when air struggles to move freely through our nose and throat during sleep, causing the surrounding tissues to vibrate. This happens for various reasons. Firstly, nasal congestion from allergies or colds can block the airway. Secondly, when we sleep on our back, our tongue may block the airway. Thirdly, excess weight can add pressure to our neck, thus narrowing the airway. Lastly, age also plays a role, as throat muscles weaken over time, thus making snoring likely. Hmm. Why does acidity happen? Our stomach produces hydrochloric acid to help with digestion. But if there's too much or it gets pushed up into the esophagus, then it leads to discomfort like heartburn. Acidity is often caused due to overeating or consuming spicy foods. Stress and certain medications can also increase acid production. A weakened lower esophageal sphincter, which is supposed to keep acid in the stomach, can also contribute to acidity. Hmm. How are F1 cars so very fast? Firstly, these cars utilize powerful turbocharged hybrid engines that can produce a lot of horsepower, providing immense acceleration. Secondly, the aerodynamic design of these cars generates significant downforce, effectively pushing the car onto the track for better cornering grip. Thirdly, these cars are built with lightweight materials to maximize power-to-weight ratio. Lastly, specially designed tires provide exceptional grip on the track. Hmm. How high do commercial planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm.